party position you're running for. My name is Desmond Upchurch. I am the Republican candidate running for mayor of South Bend. I have a question for you, brother. Y'all give me some minutes. This new for me. We just okay. started now, so give me a minute, brother. Okay. I have a right. question for you, brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, what education or work experiences do you have that makes you qualify for this job? So, um, the funny thing about running for mayor, Safi, um, running for mayor in any city, is you you have to have a desire to want to lead, right? So it doesn't matter about your educational experience if you have the desire to lead and can motivate people to come to a common goal. Mm -hmm. But for my education, I have a bachelor's in liberal arts um, from Ashford University, and I have 20 years United States military. I retired from the Army um, during 20 years. Um, And so Mm -hmm. um, that is the experience that I bring to this office. What What is the primary reason that you decided to run for mayor? Oh, great question. So um, the reason I chose to throw my name in the hat for mayor is I see the city as um, going in a direction that um, me as a citizen that loves South Bend, um, I did not care to see. We were just going in what I felt like was the wrong direction. And my military experiences when you see something, you do something. You don't stand back and watch um, something deteriorate. You get involved and you put your hands on something and you try to do the work. So um, once I saw this opportunity um, occur, I decided to throw my name in the hat to try to uh, motivate people to to see if 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 the way I was thinking was the way the citizens were thinking. Mm-hmm. How do you see your type of energy that you're going to bring as being mayor? Well, um, a lot of the energy that I'm bringing is I want to take my time to make the I don't want to be right. I want to get it right. Mm -hmm. So I want to take my time and go into the right direction as a collective for citizens of South Bend. So the things that I want to do or the ideas that I want to bring, I want it to help all citizens of South Bend. No matter if they're Democrat, Republican, I believe Libertarian, I believe you're trying to um, you're, you're trying to do what's right for our citizens. Certain citizens' needs are different than other citizens, but I think collectively we all one kind, we want the common goals of we want safe streets, we want great schools, and we we want peace overall. And I think it doesn't matter what color you are. I think those are the main goals that we want to get to. The last time South Bend had a Republican mayor was in 1972, correct? Correct. Correct. Okay. Now, um, how you feel about, let me put it this way. Um, do you feel the need is now for South Bend to have a Republican mayor? And why? So I think South Bend desires a mayor that will hold people accountable and get work done, whether you're Democrat or Republican. So it doesn't matter what party you are part of. Mm -hmm. I think we want to align with somebody who, one, cares about the citizens and want to move us all together forward. Okay. Um, what What new perspective can you bring to the office that mayor, to the office, as being mayor that you think is missing? So we have a society right now where we have a lot of great workers who are not in the workforce right now. Mm -hmm. The reason being, um, when you say new perspective, the Mm -hmm. reason being we have a lot of mothers who have to stay home to raise their children because daycare is right now expensive, right? Mm -hmm. One of the new perspectives that I want to bring to the office of the mayor is I want to offer anyone who's working for the city the opportunity to have free daycare. We need to work some way to have people come back to the workforce so that they don't feel like they have to make a choice whether doing the job they love 
or raising their children. Why can't we do them both? Right. Mm-hmm. Another perspective is I believe we need to offer education, higher opportunities of learning for those who work within the city. Right? So this state is preservative state, right? Con- uh, conserv- conserv- I mean, conserv- conserv- yes. conservative state. How do you mm-hmm. feel about gun control? So I'm military, 20 years military. Mm-hmm. I love the fact of having um, weapons, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I feel every citizen should practice the right of having their own um, um, uh, owning, owning their weapons. Uh-huh. However, I understand that the violence is picking up. Mm-hmm. And I understand that um, we are looking at uh, weapons as the reasons for that. Mm-hmm. However, I think that's misplaced because I really think we have a people problem, not a gun problem. Okay, why do you think that's misplaced? When, so, when you say that, explain that. So, maybe people don't feel the same way I feel. Okay, However, that makes sense. Uh, a weapon is nothing but a tool. Mm-hmm. The problem we're having is people are choosing to use that tool mm-hmm. Um, to solve issues that I believe if they had the um, adequate um, ability to use their words, Mm -hmm. they wouldn't have to pick up this particular tool. Um, That particular tool um, is being used because maybe people are having mental issues or um, um, they're fighting uh, or they don't know how to use the proper words to get their frustration across. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe it's our responsibility to help them add that ability to their toolbox mm-hmm. so they don't have to use a weapon mm-hmm. and they can use whatever mental health tools that we can put in their toolbox mm-hmm. as well. How do you feel about the situation that's going on in South Bend for the school system? Like closing down schools and what is your what is your um, take on that? So um, the city wouldn't have the ability to control the schools. However, we do have influence on the schools. Mm-hmm. Uh, my take is it is painful to see our schools getting closed mm-hmm. because what I believe is mismanage of funds. Mm-hmm. Um, It is our responsibility to solve that funding gap, Mm -hmm. but I think it's because we're too top heavy. Um, How can we solve the funding gap though? I mean, what from, okay, from your perspective, what will it take to solve the funding gap that can keep schools from being closed down? So obviously we have to go and look at the, the, the accounting, Mm -hmm. the books to find out where we can make, um, streamline certain jobs or um, things we can do to help uh, bring more funding back into the school. Um, we have to find ways to make people want to come to South Bend schools yeah. instead of taking that funding elsewhere to charter schools or to schools outside of our district. Um, however, the, the way to do that is we have to make South Bend so deniable that people say, that's where I want to raise my kids, Mm -hmm. and um, that's the schools I want my kids to go to. Is the charter schools is is coming to be a big influence in South Bend? So, I think charter schools are coming to South Bend, and those are just options for parents to choose. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not against charter schools. Mm -hmm. I believe in charter schools, Mm -hmm. but I believe in school choice for parents to pick whatever school they want their child to go to. Yeah, I agree. Um, but what I do understand is having a the public school system is very vital. Mm-hmm. And when you get rid of schools, mm-hmm. you have teachers that lose jobs. You mm-hmm. have individuals that lose jobs. We need to figure out a way, because I believe South Bend has some of the best teachers in the business. We need to figure out a way to um, save our schools, but welcome competition mm-hmm. so that we can make those schools better. How do you plan to how do you plan to confront and tackle these issues that that um, to a lot of people may be so disturbing in South Bend as you know of what's going on with um, um, in the different communities and districts about the trash, the roads, and and all of that. How do you how do you feel 
how you be able to, you know, feel like you be able to tap in that so situation? So I believe um, we're going to have to enforce codes, in, mm -hmm. code enforcement. We're going to have to enforce those. Mm -hmm. um, right now, I believe um, the current administration is not putting a lot of effort in enforcing those codes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but when you don't enforce those codes, that lack of discipline causes um, a chain reaction of individuals or, or businesses not to, or it may be cheaper just to pay the fine than it does to actually do the work. What would, what would you have to, what would the city, what would the people have to do to, to enforce these, to enforce change dealing with these situations? Well, we have to um, empower our citizens um, so that they hold individuals who are violating these codes accountable. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, we're empowering um, South Bend um, because when we feel when we have an investment in our city, we want to make our city look better. Mm -hmm. And I believe that is a city's responsibility to um, encourage and en engage the citizens so that they love this city and they want to see this city flourish. How do you see South Bend? Say, for instance, you was mayor tomorrow. Mm -hmm. How do you see South Bend coming up under your leadership as mayor in the next five, five, four to five years? Okay. I think South Bend has the potential to be the safest and cleanest city in Indiana. Mm -hmm. There's so many opportunities here in South Bend, but we have to open those opportunities up for one hour young individuals to be able to see the value of staying here in South Bend instead of going abroad or going to other cities. Are um, you are you planning on adding summer programs for the kids? Of course. Okay. Um, so what, what jobs, ideas do you have for summer programs? So I believe some of jobs um, to help clean around the city. Mm -hmm. um, um, I think that would be great. I believe um, apprenticeship programs mm -hmm. so that kids can find other things that they may be interested in. Mm -hmm. But also, I think sports is a critical part of any city. Mm -hmm. I think we need to reinvest in our kids in sports programs mm -hmm. and offer different sports that our kids may have not been introduced to. Mm -hmm. um, I know pickleball is coming available. We've had talks to um, about learning ice hockey, mm -hmm. which is um, becoming very big, mm -hmm. but track and field. I mean, there's just so many opportunities for our kids to get involved in sports. And I think with the city backing, um, I believe sports will be a very um, um, influential part of this city. How do you feel about teachers' pay increase? I believe um, teachers should be, um, should have some increase in pay. Mm -hmm. um, how do we get there? Yeah. Um, we have to get there by not mismanaging funds that have been allocated to our mm -hmm. um, um, schools. Mm -hmm. um, but that's our responsibility to, as leaders to look mm -hmm. in ways so that we're not um, misusing our teachers. Amen. Thank you, sir. Brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. Um, um, before we end this interview, mm -hmm. give, give the South Bend your... Um, what you have in your heart that can pull South Bend together? Okay. Um, South Bend, this is our time to come together to choose a leader that is going to put South Bend first. It's time to look forward for South Bend and stop looking away from South Bend. We are the solution that this, this country needs. We are the solution that this state needs. We have the talent here. We have the young people with the energy here. We just need the roadmap so that we can invest in our young and talented individuals. Please choose me as South Bend Mayor and let us work together to make this a better South Bend. Thank you.